Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Painting Stuff, yeah! <laughs> There's no actual episode like that. Hey, fishies, it's the Bull Shark Bait Art, and I'm back at ya with a new video. And this one isn't like a half an hour long, uh, but I mean, it's a little bit long, so... Here is me painting. I'm showing you guys how to paint some cabajons with, I am actually using um, da -da -da, airbrush paint. I had to think for a second there. Uh, but this is airbrush paint um, rather than like acrylic paint or some other kind of paint. Which you can use acrylic. I just, because... With what this video is, I guess I could probably talk about it. Basically, guys, uh, me in front of the camera, remember Jesus, Yeshua, about behind the camera. But basically, this is kind of a prequel to my upcoming video, which is me painting some SCPs. Yep, you heard that right, SCPs, because I'm making them and painting them and making little SCP figures because I think it's cool. I got the idea from actually Ace of Clay, so credit to him. I can put a link in the uh, description. Um, I really like a what Ace of Clay does, basically. Um, so I was kind of like, oh, dude, um, he did some SCPs. I think he only did like two. And then, of course, he did like creepy pastas and stuff. But I was like, hey, SCPs, I would love to make some SCPs and film what I'm doing. So that is exactly the the videos that are going to be coming up. I am working on a few videos, actually. Um, yes, one is the one that includes this Cabajon eye painting, because basically this video is showing you guys how I paint eyes. And you can obviously use any color, but basically it's like, okay, that first layer is that light blue, and then the second layer is like a darker blue and stuff like that. So, basically, in short, I'm working on three figures, actually, for this upcoming video, but I'm still working on the video. I still have to paint two of the other figures, which they are SCP-131. I believe that's the correct number. I don't know if it's like SCP-131 and they label them like ABC. Um, it's the little eyeballs that roll around. They're super cute. I was like, oh, these are adorable, man. So I'm going to just like paint them and make them. So uh, yeah, I'm making their eyes. They all have blue eyes. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. Just painting. Still doing that light color because uh, eyes, man. If you take a picture of eyes or you look at a picture of eyes, you will realize how detailed they are, how much, like, the different colors, and it looks like, when you look at the actual iris, I believe that's the colored part of your eye, it's like, it looks like wrinkled fabric or something, it's just, or, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's like, your eye just, the color, the iris, it just looks... Like some kind of wrinkled fabric or wrinkled gelatin or something weird with all the little different colors in it and whatnot. So I was like, oh dude, I'm going to try that. I actually had to uh, redo the eye. Oh gosh. I redid a few of them because I think I did all three, but I really didn't like how they were at the original like start. Um... It's kind of my first time doing this, so the first couple times didn't go out right. So I restarted, I looked at some pictures of eyes to really decide what I wanted to do, and then I went with smaller lines. The problem is, is my brushes, I, you know, my brushes, I, I use them a lot. They're like a finer tipped brush, but the problem is, the longer you use them, the more, like, worn out they get, the more messy they are, and obviously, 
the lines aren't always going to be like tiny and thin. So I did the best that I could here with this video and everything like that. But obviously it's not, it's never going to be perfect. I mean, it's all a learning experience. You're learning with me. We're doing our thing. It's awesome. Obviously you see me, sh my, sh my shaky camera. <laughs> And then I also, I dropped the cabochon on the floor, so I ended up editing that out because I was like, I don't want anybody to see <laughs> that I was looking for this thing for, like, a good 30 seconds I was looking for this cabochon. And, yeah, it was on the floor. So, <laughs> derpy. Uh, uh, there's a couple derps in here because that I have edited out because you don't need to see how derpy I am and me dropping stuff. Okay, you do get to see it, but you don't get to see the long pause that goes between when I drop something and then when I pick it back up or there's a couple edits where it's like I had to shake the bottle of paint because unlike acrylic paint and some other paints, airbrush paint, you have to shake it up really good to make sure that there's nothing like solid in there and it's all good and loose and awesomeness. Yeah, woo paint. So, uh, yeah, I had to shake it up a couple times and it was like, ah, I don't need that in this video. And then of course I'm recording over it because I was watching a movie <laughs> while I was filming. Cause, uh, yeah, that's how I do all my artwork is watch a movie or video while I'm working. So that's what I'm doing. And then a couple times, like obviously right here, I'm doing my best to have the cabochon in the center of the camera, but I'm getting used to filming on a phone and obviously the camera's in a new place. So it's like, uh, I gotta make sure the camera's lined up with my work. And I also gotta make sure that I'm freaking filming in the middle of the screen instead of trying to look at it in front of my face because, of course, my eyes aren't great. So it's like, oh, I want to film in front of my face, but but then <laughs> then you can't see it. Then you, It's like on the edge of the screen. So I'm sorry that it's a little, little off center. Uh, I did my best. <laughs> As time goes on, it'll get better and I get a better angle. But my main issue is I don't want to bump my ring light, so trying to find a good place to put it without hitting the ring light and making the camera shake every five seconds, because I know that would happen. It has, sh I like, obviously you can see in this video, I did bump it a couple times, so it did shake, thankfully not too bad, but obviously it's going to happen. It happened a few times. Uh, now you can see I've got, I think, that last layer of dark. Oh, see, there's that edit. You didn't get to see me drop it. <laughs> you don't get to see my derpiness. Uh, I'm going in with that dark layer. I have, I layered, as you can see, I layered the light and then the slightly darker. And then I went in with a very dark color. So that way it fills in any of the gaps. So there's different levels and shades and stuff. Because eyes are, like, you can have brown eyes or blue eyes or green eyes or, like, super dark brown eyes or ha hazel eyes. And when you actually look at them really close up, you can see that there's just tons of different colors in there and different shades of the color. So eyes are actually a lot prettier than you would think they are when you actually look at them really close. So, uh, yeah, there's that last dark layer I've had to... Um, in the video, you can see that a couple times I had to, like, wipe off the middle where the pupil is up. There I go. Yep. Because, uh, I want to make sure the pupil isn't so tiny. Because when I'm painting, it gets, like, smaller and smaller. And then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want, like, these tiny little beady pupils. This is supposed to be SCP-131. They're super cute. That's why I'm painting them. And if it's a teeny little pupil, <laughs> they're going to think that they're intoxicated or on something. And I don't want that. I don't want 
uh, dilated pupils or undilated pupils, whatever. Yeah, that don't no beady eyes here, so I did my best. Uh, I guess I'm getting more paint right now. Yep, get getting more paint on that paintbrush. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I didn't cut that out. Uh, it's like oh, you get to you get to watch it. I'm I'm getting the paint still. Maybe I'm getting more paint shaking it up again. I'm assuming. Yeah, that took a while. Wow. Oh, I bet you I have to mix it up. Because I had to mix the black with the blue. Because uh, to get this dark, like, teal color, I mixed the black with the, uh, like, sky blue. And it made it more of a teal. So that was that. There I go. Filling in that extra bit. Do do do. Wow, I've been talking this entire video. Don't. I hope you like my voice. Otherwise, <laughs> this is a, this might not be the video for you. Or you could turn down my voice. You could just turn it down and watch the video. Uh, hopefully also that this video will help you if you want to paint some cabochons for your own video. And there's a pop-up. Go away. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully that will help um, if you want to paint your own. And, I mean, when you look them up, they're called cabajons uh, or cabajons, um, which, oh, look, it's so cute, see? Um, basically, I found mine, I think, on, like, Amazon or eBay or something. Oh, now it goes in the pupil. Uh, I think they were on Amazon or eBay, but you can buy them at like craft stores too and stuff but I'm usually buying on Amazon not sponsored but maybe eventually one day I don't know but uh yeah I usually buy everything on Amazon because it's convenient even though that's not always the best because Amazon's Amazon is Amazon <laughs> but at least it's really fast so my impatient little butt doesn't have to wait that long ah see it's done and now it looks like an eye. It's so cute. And then wait. Uh, so this part, it's like I have to look over. You know, once you got it all painted, you just want to give it a look over. Make sure that you filled in all those gaps. Just, you know, obviously I'm looking. I, I'm touching it up a little bit. And now it's done. Yay. Woohoo. It's done. Ah. Uh, yep. I guess. <laughs> okay, that is the end of that. It's just frozen on there, but I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this lovely, awesome tutorial video on how to paint cabochons in the eyes. Hopefully this was entertaining for you and it helped to give you a tutorial. I don't know if anybody's ever done anything like that before, but I know I would have loved that to uh, give me an example, but I'm one of those people who wants to figure it out myself, but I, at the same time, it's like, I figure I'll just give you a video just in case uh, if you need any help. So thank you for watching. Remember, I'm the Bull Shark Bait Art. Jesus is always behind that camera, and you guys have a blessed day. Buh bye Stay mad. Nope.